Welcome back. So, um, this is, I haven't recorded a lesson in almost over a year. Uh, the last two lessons I posted were the major chord, minor chord, I think, and then there was also how to change the guitar string. And I did those over a year ago, so I'm finally recording some new stuff. In this lesson, it's going to be mostly on, it's going to be a different concept, let's say, so we're changing units pretty much. And in this way, we're going to be learning how, let's say, you have a rhythm in your mind or you're thinking of something in your head, but you want to translate to that to the guitar, right? And so some people in ways have perfect pitch, and so it can help them a lot to like have it in their head and automatically go in, onto the instrument with it. And mostly that comes with years of experience. And this concept is, in a way, it just makes it a little bit easier. And if you practice it quite a bit, you'll get better and better at it. Um, so in this way, our, the, the idea is that you want to add your own sounds, let's say, to the notes. So here we have six strings. And you can think of each string as a different vowel sound. So here we have E, A, D, G, D, E. So let's say I play a little riff, right? So I'm going. So open E, right? To third fret E, same, all on the same string. And here we're just playing a, a G. And then we go to the A, fifth fret. Um, so you, you could think, we could think of the E string as one vowel sound, the A string as another vowel sound, and so on. So for example, let's say I thought of the E string as a, maybe just go really easy, like just the E sound, right? So E, D, 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 So each of like the corresponding notes on here, so even though it's the same vowel sound, you're, you're still like going a bit higher in pitch with each fret. So you're changing your notes in your voice, um, but you're corresponding it to each fret. Um, so you're going like And then after the 12th, it's really the same thing as here. Um, uh, so yeah, you and you can do that also for the A string. So I'm not that good right now. <laughs> And then you could do that for the D sound, the G, the P, and the E. Um, you can also make it easier on yourself. Like, let's say you're not really good at doing high notes like me, uh, or you have a low voice. You can pretty much just, um, you can change the sound like really anything. I mean, when I was first doing this, I think I made it, I was just testing a bunch of stuff and I just pick what fits best. And then what you can do is write it down on the paper so you remember what you picked. And then um, later we can learn on scales and stuff. But when you practice, let's say scales, right? Like average pentatonic stuff. You can just like play those notes with your sound. In the beginning, it's going to be uh, quite hard because you can be like, oh, what was this one here and here? Um, but you can, you can practice it um, quite a bit, different places, scales and stuff. And then let's say you have a rhythm in your head like da 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 da. So it's not exactly there, but it's kind of close. Um, they can like, at least you have a base idea of where it is. And then you can look around on the A string if it's somewhere else. Or I can play in a different key, right? So I can add some notes. You know, it's just a building step, um, what you have in your head, right? Because you, what you want to do is have the idea in your head and then play it on the guitar. And you don't want to go the opposite way in which you're playing the guitar and going your head, I guess. But like you want to think of what you're going to do before you do it. Um, yeah, so you, you want to just add them. And then you can also think of like these chords. You can add your own sounds to those. Um, you, it's, I think it's okay in a way you can make it different, but it's okay if you pick maybe some of the same ideas or sounds as the strings, cause really you don't, 
you you have one open G. Like you can play different G's, right? Um, but you'll normally, if you're gonna play open chords, you'll normally stay here. So you can just put one sound for them, and you don't have to make all the G chord sounds, all the D chord sounds. Like you don't exactly have to do that. And there's infinite, almost infinite amount of chords, right? So it, it doesn't make much sense to make um, a sound for each chord. You can just do the major ones, um, maybe also some minor ones too if you want to. Uh, but yeah, and then for power chords, I mean, it's, you can really just think of a rhythm in your head with the notes and just add the power chord shape to it. So like with the other rhythm, I can just go. Like you don't have to really think of it as that much. You can also do the, the fifth power chord here. You know, I mean, at that you can just experiment there and see what sounds best. Mm. But yeah, so you just want to, in a way, practice with uh, scales, and that should be a cool idea. Um, and then you get better at it. I personally did this like three years ago, so in a way, I got in like really used to it. So I don't exactly practice it as much anymore. But it's really important in the beginning to practice it, so then you get comfortable with it. And yeah, you pretty much just have your own ideas and solos and stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, when you practice quite a bit, you also, your ideas just, when you're playing the guitar, they kind of, they just in a way come out. So like, I'm just playing right now some chords or whatever, like over here. Like this note kind of just comes to me. In a way, you can also, um, the most important thing is the rhythm. So, like, let's say I found some cool chords. Right? Well, what you want to think now is the rhythm, right? Because the rhythm is mostly, a lot of the times, the most important thing. Because um, you can change keys and everything, but in the end, it's the rhythm that makes it sound different. So, let's say I have a rhythm here. A little palm muting, basic rhythm technique here. Um, you can maybe think of it slowing down. So da 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 da. So yeah, the pass rhythm into that. And that, in a way, kind of already sounds better because you're you're adding more variety in it. It just you have a bit more changes, bit more nuances in it. Um, but yeah, it's a quick short lesson. Uh, afterwards, um, I was gonna make a lesson on exercises, but really, to be honest, I'll pull up. I'll have some scale images, and you can just follow them all over the neck. Practice with those sounds. Make your own rhythms. Just do that a bunch. Just, it, the idea is quite simple, but it will take quite a bit of work. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.